is, is one of the purposes for the winter feeding station to, um, to reduce the erosion of uh, concentrated feeding areas where, where they're feeding their hay um, for the cattle. So it will help to, we, we put up the winter feeding stations so that we don't have the, um, the erosion that we would have and also for uh, nutrients, so that we don't have the runoffs of nutrients into the, um, into the nearby you know, streams or ditches or, or creeks or anything like that. It's not running off into the, into the water sources. Um, the winter feeding stations, as you can see, it's just, there's a roof and then um, the back area, there's a stacking area, which um, you would scrape all your manure and, and uh, stack it in that uh, stock area, stacking area there. And you just feed your bales there and there is, there is a heavy use area around it. Um, they, they put down some filter fabric and they put rock there so that um, as the cattle are, are around there, there's a protected area as well. Um, and to also address, you know, getting the water out of there, we've got the, you can see the gutters on there. They come out and um, the water goes underground so that we won't have that water getting into the, um, the manure there and carrying that out. So we carry that underground and it will come out um, a ways away from there, trying to get it away from the, the manure and um, stuff there. So that's kind of uh, the use of the, the uh, winter feeding station. Um, Lauren, how many uh, winter feeding stations are there approximately in your area that you cover? Um, I'd say we have probably uh, 15 to 18 that are erected um, already um, up and then we've we've got some plans still in contracts that are they're going to be up soon so it's been um, a very helpful practice for a lot of the livestock producers to help um, with this kind of situation getting that getting that manure off the ground someplace where it's it's a uh, where it's under roof and it, it's not going to be um, affecting you know taking it into that water and affecting our water quality as much so um, it's been a useful practice for that